Hi hey everyone and welcome to the webinar today on site design, taking your site to the next level. Uh, myself, Dan, will be leading this webinar and the four topics that we will cover today are the theme editor, skins, CSS tricks, and then we will give a special shout out to one of our designers that works closely with Lee Gaps. Uh, and show off a little bit of his work in case that is the route that you'd like to go through. Hopping right into it, I want to show you the theme editor. And we can get to the theme editor by logging into our admin console and clicking the design tab. From here, we can click launch theme editor and it will open up a new tab. This is the skin that I have implemented into my site, which we will cover next. But on your sites, or for most of you, you will see this colors tab. This colors, you can switch around by the different color schemes, whether you want a, a nice torch look like flames, and then you can also edit through here. The one thing that I would like to point out is if you want to have a similar color or, or the exact color, you will, you will want to copy this code found in the color palette. You can simply copy, and if I want my alternative text or ultimate text to be the same color, I can paste it in, as well as the body text, just to keep a nice look and feel throughout your whole site. You go ahead and save your changes after, and it will pull back up so you can still make edits, and you can check your preview here. Next is fonts. I want to show that you can change the different fonts, and it can reflect on different areas of your site, whether it be the, the main nav links, the page titles, anything of that you can change around your, your, your fonts. Next will be the images. Here, you can see my background, and the background is, is a sheet of ice, which you can grab and, and upload. You can center it, and you could repeat it. Also, your mobile logo and your mobile app icon. These are when uh, your mobile logo, when someone pulls up your site on the mobile, on their, on their mobile device, and the mobile app icon is when someone will save your home page to the actual home screen of, of their phone, they can see that your logo will appear on their home screen. The CSS is uh, one thing I will cover later on, but you can make some really cool things happen with your site here. Next, I want to go back to this skins tab here. And a skin is a nice looking slider that we can put into your site. And it looks like this. We can click through. One really cool thing about skins is we can add a title. Uh, for example, some of the organizations will use a uh, registration is now open. And then description, we can just write sign up now. And we can actually link it to a specific page on our site. So this first picture, I will link to my event. I don't believe I have any events open, but if we refresh our page here, we can see that now it populates onto our page, onto that picture, and we can go ahead and click on it, and it will bring you right to your event tab in the URL. Going back to the skins, we can remove. So let's say I don't want this picture. I can remove it. Uh, and then I can also add slides by clicking the plus sign up top. I could either choose a file or I can use a picture that's already in my site. Uh, somewhere this one was just on my site, so it stores it. Let's say I didn't mean to actually delete it. We can just go grab it again and we can name it the League Apps team. We can save that. We can go to the front end of our site. 
just open up a new one, and we can see if we click through the slider, we now have this with the league app team on there. As you can see, this this picture it comes in very clear, but it's not properly sized, and that's why the slider is is jumping up and up and down. If a skin is something that you would like, you can always email support at league apps, and we can give you the document to fill out, and the, you will need to send us pictures in certain sizes so we can make a nice slider that will not jump around on you like mine is right now. This is what will happen if your pictures are not sized properly. The next topic that I would like to cover is, is back to those CSS tricks. So if we look into the CSS tab, as you can see, I have a couple uh, CSS codes in here that, that make some cool things happen to my site. One is just the size of the logo and, and it being centered. But I wanted to show you two really cool uh, little tricks that we can do, and, and I will follow up in my email uh, in the recording of this for with these CSS tricks so you can go ahead and implement them yourself. The first one is, is a background almost freeze. So it's just a fixed background. And right now you can see that my background over here is moving when I actually am scrolling. So to take care of that and make it freeze, I will add this CSS into the bottom of the custom CSS tab. And now I can look back and refresh my page. And now it is frozen. As you can see, it looks, looks kind of cool with the logo uh, and the slider sliding past it. And it will stay all in one place. The next is if we look at, we see this gray uh, in the back of my main nav bar with my menu items. And then on the bottom here, it's, it's all grayed out as well. I would like to make it a transparent color, so uh, like a see-through, so it, the ice comes through. And how we do that is I have this code, the CSS, and I will just paste it right underneath, and I will click Save. And I will also follow up with this CSS trick in my follow-up so everyone can have it and really make their site look, look next level. And now we can see that we have the, the text messaging is, is now transparent as well as my menu items are transparent. Before I get into my next topic of, of giving Pat a shout out, our designer, uh, and showing off a little bit of his work, I wanted to cover one thing for, for some that have a, a custom URL or, or want to link their home page to another uh, home page. So it, you could pop onto League Apps, register, and then pop back onto your other site. And the way that we do that is we go into create a new page, and we want to make an an external page. An internal is one that will show up on League Apps, and external will actually link you to another page. So I'm just going to name this uh, the home of another, of another page, and external URL is, right now I have my logo linked to another site, so I'm just going to take this site as well, and I will post it on the external, and I'm going to link this from the main menu. I'm going to create a new top menu item. Even though some of you have a home button already, you can go ahead and hide that one, and we are going to create this new home button here, and we are going to create page. Page is successfully saved, and now we're going to go into our content and menu items tab. And we see it down here. We want to, and my existing home button is not showed up because I, or I deactivated it by unchecking the box. I'm just going to take this and make it number one, and I'm going to take this home and make it number 10 
click update to update the order. And now if we look at my site, we see the home button up here now. And once we click on it, it links you to a, another site, uh, which some of you, this is exactly what you're looking for. Now that we have kind of covered everything on the League App side, I wanted to uh, make an introduction to Pat, one of our designers, uh, and he's done some really cool things uh, with League App sites, and he has really taken sites to, to the next level. Uh, and just to show off a little bit of his work, we can look at Silverfin. This is one of uh, our partners who, who Pat designed a website for. And as you can see, we have a video in the background, all of our, our links and, and menu tabs here, the logo. And when we scroll through this, it looks really nice. And even uh, registration buttons pop up when you click over, over pictures. And then we can see that we have the tweets, uh, the Instagram, everything connected and we can just click through his site and see uh, everything that Pat has, has created. This will bring you right to League Apps as he's incorporated some widgets, uh, which is awesome. And you won't even recognize that you're on a League App site with the integration. But then, like I said, you can click back the home page and you get brought right back to that, that nice looking video that Pat has, has designed. The next uh, site that I want to show off that Pat has done is Philly Blast Lacrosse, another awesome partner of ours. And as you can see, we have created the Pat has created the slider within their site. Uh, it freezes the the top menu menu bar, so you can get to it at at any point of the of the site. And as you can see, we have a couple uh, articles that we can read. When you hover over the buttons, they change colors. That's pretty pretty cool uh, throughout the whole whole website. As you can see, we have another uh, incorporation of the the widget on the side, and then we can just share some some new news. Uh, and and if you look, their their background is is frozen uh, there. And we have the, the Instagram and the tweets as well. Uh, so those are just some really cool things that, that Pat uh, can do. And I will follow up with a contact uh, of how you can get in contact with Pat if this is the route that you want to, that you want to take and, and really make your site uh, stand out from the others. But like I said, uh, I wanted to show you a couple tips, tricks, how to make your site all through league apps with no additional fee uh, kind of pop and, and stand out from your competition. Uh, that will be all for, for today's webinar. I, I look forward to hearing back and, and getting some feedback on the skins and, and sharing the, the document that you can fill out for the skins. And, and I look forward to uh, talking with you guys and, and hearing from you in, in two weeks from now uh, with our next webinar, which you will want to sign up for. Uh, we may be doing some, some nice giveaways uh, for the 25th sign up, the 50th sign up, and, and the 100th sign up. So look forward to that, and, and hopefully you guys win a couple prizes next week or in two weeks from now. See you guys.